this new Ultra Compact Factory that you make any of these cannons or even different ones in just a couple of minutes. Do you know that this factory can only make cast iron and bronze cannons? It cannot make steel or nether steel, but also know that it can make up to 9 long cannons. And all of these of course work, so you can make this basic chamber and barrel design, which of course works perfectly. If you want to make a bit smaller ones, or I guess more of a ship cannon design, you can also make it out of either bronze or copper. I mean, either bronze or cast iron, which of course both work. I just love the particles. If you want to make a bit of a longer big cannon, that is also possible. And also then we have the largest ones, which I do suggest that you use bronze, because this one... Bronze has a lot more strength compared to cast iron. Or just look at all the smoke. These are just some of the cannons that I was saying. These are just some of the cannons that you can make. But let's get to how the factory works. So before I get into explaining every single bit here, I'm going to tell you how this actually functions. First of all, we have the metal pump clutch, which operates the actual pump, which we do not want to have on if there's no casting in place. Because of course it's just going to it is just going to dump molten metal out here. After that we have the pump lead switch which just switches the lathe and the pump. This is why it's so fast because we are not actually moving the cannon, we are just moving the lathe and the pump. After that we have the lead clutch which will just start spinning the sticker which will stick to the cannon of course, I'll show you that in a second. And we have the drill shift which will actually start moving the drill which is a really fast drill as you can see right there. And of course we have the lead stick, which just sticks the actual lead to the cannon. We have the arm stick, we have the pull arm stick, which you can't really see, but you can see the red being triggered. And we have the arms move, which actually cannot break in this design because it can only move one direction, but it does it really fast, so it shouldn't be a problem. And of course with the arm having three possible positions, you can put a cannon right here, or a cannon bit. Another one right here and another one right here, and that forms a nine long cannon. Of course, you would want to use barrels and cannons, kind of like this, for example. And then you can just place a cannon carriage at the bottom and right click the actual carriage with a wrench, and you can just get it off the rails. But let me show you how this works. So, first of all, we need to place the casting stand right here, and of course, depending on what you are cast, we need to place the molds inside. I'm going to show you how to make a cannon and mold one because that one takes a bit more than just any other ones, because we need to actually flip the cannon end around so it doesn't get drilled. While you're doing this, you also want to have the late clutch spinning, because this way you can click through the block and we can save even more space by not having to retract this arm. Because of course you need to place the last block inside of here, which you couldn't click through this block. But if it's spinning, you can actually click through it, which means that we don't have to waste any more space or resources by dragging this back up. And after this is done, we can stop the late, move, the pump over and unclutch the pump and you can see that there is iron going in here and there is a mixer tube down here which goes up to 14 after which we can just get the pump back here and now we can wait until this reaches 15. While that happens let me explain to you how the actual factory works. We are using two sources of power by the way I have found a shader pack it is the complementary shaders that actually does not bug out with the windmills and other contraptions of create. Like it doesn't clip through walls and stuff. So, we are using a double windmill here, which is powering this pump right here, which is supplying water to our cannon drill, which is currently underneath us. And it's also supplying power to this pump, which is putting water inside of our boiler. And of course, the boiler is not just a boiler, it is also a steam engine. And we have the steam engines on the side, which are powering all of these really fast gantry rails on top. This one is the one that moves the pump, this one is for the lathe, this one is just the arm itself, and of course the reason we are using this steam engine is because we want them to be really fast and we also want to move a lot of them. And of course also this is moving another pump, because one pump would not be enough for this drill if we are going to run it at the speed that we are going to run it at, which is 128 times this engine, or I guess 128 speed of this engine, I'm not sure how this work. it works exactly, but something like that. Also of course this is being powered by the engine. This pump when it's in the pumping position. Oh and the last thing of course, this arm is manually operated. It can't actually go in right now because of course the casting is taking up one extra block but you can just go in with this one and then bring it out and you can also rotate it with this one. 
going to be useful in just a second when we need to rotate the actual cannon around because of course the end cannot be drilled so we need to put the end which is at the bottom and we need to place it at the top and of course we have the big arm which actually does have a manually operated feature this little gantry right here and the only reason we have this here is if you accidentally mess up the positioning of your cannons if you for some reason put this cannon bit right here and let's say that uh, this one right here and you want to swap these you couldn't just move them to each other that's not how cannons work you can just move them to each other it's going to get stuck but i guess the, the arm just won't move so what you can do is you can actually just stick the arm then move this one up move the arm to the right Unstick the arm, move it back to position to move it down. It does actually spin the lead, but it shouldn't be a problem. Stick the arm again and just move it back to the beginning. It will get stuck right here, but since it returns to the beginning at a base, it is not going to be a problem. And of course, then you can just unstick it, take it again, put it down, and just go back to the beginning. Unstick and make sure that you press twice so that it goes back to the beginning, because otherwise, of course, it would be a bit, let's say, boggy, because it cannot go back to the beginning. But due to the fur reset, the third one will always take it back to the beginning if there's nothing in its hand, which will reset the contraption, which is actually a design feature. It's just a debugging feature, I guess. Because of course, if you have to move something, it's, it's going to get stuck. It's kind of a space saving measure so that you don't have to like lift it up even higher and stuff like that. It will just work if you press it three times. Because as I was saying, it moves to this position, then this one, and it moves enough so that it goes back to this one from any position. So if it got stuck here, and if it goes into position one, it will try to go to this one, and then it will try to go to this one, but it can, so it's going to stay here. And of course, because it's still here, it will have enough power on the third one to go back to position one. And of course, we just fixed our cannon. And in the meanwhile, I wasn't paying attention. The casting is done. The Nixie tube is telling us that it's 15, which means that it is done. Which means that we can move on to the next one. We need to move in the arm, clutch the pull stick, which is the left button, and then rotate it twice. Unclutch the pull stick, clutch the lead, which is up. We can actually move this out, we don't need this to be right there, just to see it better. And after the lead has been sticked, we need to unclutch the lead, so it starts spinning, and shift the drill, which will start drilling extremely fast compared to my other creations. And it's already done, because it's only technically a two-piece, because we don't need to drill the top one. After which, retract the drill, do not forget to do this step, otherwise you're going to break your drill. And then start the lathe, unstick the lathe, go in with this one, go in with the pull arm, stick the pull arm, retract it, and rotate it into whatever position you want it in. And of course, after that, you need to unstick the arm, not the arm, sorry, the pull stick, which is left, and you can move it into any of the three positions. And after you're done, we just put the cannon bit underneath the cannon carriage, and you can just roll it off. The, let's call it belt, I guess. And that is basically it. You can make any of these cannons. Technically speaking, you could also make less than three high cannon bits. So for example, this one, it is going to again get this arm stuck, but that is a feature. You can even make single bit ones, but you would most likely want to make triple ones because they are just easier to make. And also, well, I guess for the small designs, you would want to use four because you would want to use the end plus three. But if you want to make the biggest cannons, I would recommend that you make with this design. Although filling it up to the maximum with explosives might explode the cannon depending on what you build it from. Or it just might not fire it properly. But using five power charges and one shot works perfectly on these cannons. I haven't tried the other ones. Yet. And I am going to be designing some new cannon factories. I want to get into making steel cannons. I really like just making cannons, so I think I'm going to be focusing that on the channel right now. And also, the new create update is out. So I'm going to be looking into the elevators and stuff. I might make a video on that tomorrow. Because it shouldn't take me a long time, unlike this one. Because, you know, it, it is just an elevator. I'll be seeing y'all then.